All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm just right outside the, uh, I'm in the domestic compound area outside the stadium to speak to a very special person with a great message. It's Patrick Murphy to my immediate right. He's got a great blazer on and a great message. Uh, the former Secretary of the Army. Great to see you, sir. Brian, great to be with you. All right, first off, uh, let's just do uh, some fun stuff. Okay. Uh, you got a few players from the academies uh, playing in this game. That's right. Yeah, we have uh, on the Philadelphia Eagles, my team, where I used to be a Philadelphia Eagles Hence security guard. That's the blazer. We have Brett Toth, uh, uh, backup offensive lineman, uh, two, 1999 graduate of West Point. And then on the Chiefs side, we have Cole Christensen, uh, backup linebacker, was a 2000 graduate uh, of West Point. So you, you basically in the Trump administration said, hey, if these guys can go pro, let them go pro and postpone their service. Yeah, and, and what's important there is is that, you know, these are still Army officers. They're still on the reserve component. You know, when I had an opportunity to help lead the Army, there's a million soldiers in our Army. The majority of our soldiers, though, are in the National Guard or in the reserves, the reserve component. So these gentlemen, like Brett Toth, offensive lineman, on the side, he is a professor. He's a, a, an adjunct professor at Temple University, where he's teaching military wow. science to the next generation of military leaders. Impre and very impressive. Now something also very concerning. Uh, we've had, we've shut down three objects, uh, of, uh, one in South Carolina that went through Montana, went down the uh, Canadian coast, one in the Aleutian Islands off the coast of Alaska, uh, three recovery operations underway, and then we haven't figured out what happened last night with Montana. I know you're an Army guy, but tell me what's going on. Yeah, well, my brother's an Air Force officer, now retired, but this is a breach of our sovereignty. Um, they know they're not supposed to be in our space. Only one confirmed to be from China. Well, we, we've now took out three aircraft, um, and then last night, as you mentioned, in Montana, uh, there was a ping on the radar. Now, we don't know what that ping is. We scrambled our fighter jets. Uh, we could not get eyes. We don't know what exactly it was, um, but, you know, it could have been, you know, how radar is. It could have been anything, but the reality of it is is that we need to make sure we protect our country and we're doing what's right. I, I listen, I know you guys can't tell us everything, but we're, this is an insult to tell the people of Montana we couldn't have shot it down over Montana. We have a congressman who said you could have shot it down. The, the senator, Dane, said you should have shot it down. It ends up being shot down over uh, South Carolina. And the fact is, we could have got in the Aleutian Islands. We chose not to. When it got inside our perimeter, I feel as though they're not leveling with us with what's going on. Well, you know, what you saw, too, as well, is that it was now Canadian sovereignty. And that's what, you know, when you had the prime minister, you know, we shot down the third one on Friday. The recovery's in the Yukon right, right now. Right. So when we shot that one down, it was over a Canadian airspace. It was an American fighter jet of F-22. But, um, you know, I think we're sending a message of what would happen, you know, in Ukraine. Obviously, we had this incredible coalition, as you know, pushing back on the Russian invasion. And I think it's sending a message, hopefully it's sending the right message to China that the world will rally around us uh, if they keep messing around. But Secretary, the country's got to rally around this single entity, China. Everything from the farmland they're buying, from the schools they're taking over, from the corporations that sold their soul in order to get cheap goods. This has got to be a whole a government and co a country approach. Yeah, I'd see a whole of nation approach, as you said, Brian. And and what people need to understand in our great country is that we're the underdog here. We're, we're a third of their size. Uh, and and I'm not just talking about geographic and population. And you know, know they have more ICBMs mobile and fixed than we do. Right, and that's why you know, listen, America at our best is the reluctant warrior, but we're a warrior, and we need to make sure you know when you have less less than one percent of the country that's serving, uh, and you only have 26 percent of the country that can even serve because of the obesity crisis in America and some other things. We need to wake up and understand that we have a competitor out there in China uh, that thinks they're the preeminent power in the world. Uh, we don't want any unnecessary wars. But we have to always prepare for the worst, God forbid. We uh, we can beat any communist country because they have no personal incentive. They have uh, also, there was English writing on that balloon. That we are providing, again, some of the material to slit our own throat, which has got to stop. Well, and that's why we have to be smart about it. And, you know, that's why, you know, when you look at the surveillance that are doing even on TikTok and other things, we, we have to be smart uh, and understand that we are in a competition they have obviously done some things with right. hostile acts uh, and we need to send a clear message right. the world needs to send a clear message that we're not right. going to tolerate this
Mr. Secretary, great to see you. Brian, you All right, too. I know you're pulling for the Eagles, but first and foremost, you're pulling for the country. It's going to be a very patriotic display. Overflight, female pilots, it's going to be great. Shooting, seeing all the different troops deployed overseas on the compounds, on the full screens, and of course, uh, God bless America and the Star Spangled Banner. It's a red, white, and blue day. That's Thanks right. so much, sir. Thanks, Brian. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.